And in Davos at the World Economic Forum, there have been warnings about global markets. President Trump is on his way back to the U.S. from the gathering at this hour. One financial expert had a message to the people who are applauding rallying markets, saying it is a, quote, Ponzi scheme that eventually must bust. So will investors pull their money out? Well, joining us now to give us more details, that is Doug Flynn, certified financial planner and co-founder of uh, uh, Flynn Zito Capital Management. Good to have you on. On here. Be here you hear that um, a Ponzi scheme what do you make of that yeah I think uh, that it's based on the fact that valuations are quite stretched and uh, it maybe the markets can't support what we have going on especially with Europe if you're looking at it from Europe their growth is very very slow con compared with ours which is a little bit faster so I think that you know you could build on if you get too a far ahead of yourself where there's nothing supporting and that's where the Ponzi scheme idea came from. But obviously it's not a Ponzi scheme because what it comes down to is that these are companies. They sell a lot of stuff. For example, I don't think whatever's going on in the world is going to stop Apple from selling more AirPods. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's a Ponzi, Ponzi scheme. And basically the market is the sum of a bunch of companies that produce things. And that's what you have to look at. Well, let's talk about President Trump's impact at Davos. Uh, he, you know, he's crossing paths with a lot of foreign leaders, obviously touting the U.S. economy. What do you think will be their takeaway from this meeting with President Trump? Yeah, it's interesting. He, he, it's definitely a different look at uh, how in the past presidents have approached the World Economic Forum and how he is. And he's bringing it back to the fact that we are actually leading the world in, in growth and uh, at, for such a mature economy to keep growing like we are compared with Europe, which teetered on recession. So I think that's an interesting take. And he's letting everybody know that, hey, we're open for business and open for trade. And that's his, his whole agenda, which he started out from the very beginning with. So, so I think that people have to take a look at that. Yeah, from the very beginning, and I want to kind of hone in on that. Earlier, uh, President Trump in Davos was was giving a, a speech and answering questions from reporters, and he's saying, look, back in 2016, I told you this is going to be a comeback nation, essentially, uh, when speaking about the economy, and then here we are today, um, you know, touting how, how great, how spectacular the economy is. Is our president on point with where our economy is today? Is he accurate? Well, I think initially we had some, some excellent growth and it's, it's sort of settled down a little bit. And that's the problem you have right now in the market. I think, yes, in, it's the envy of the world. There's no question about it. And he did improve it from the 1%. You know, if you go back to Obama, we were taught to uh, believe that we would have to live in a 1% growth world from, from now on. And uh, that just isn't the case. Now, whether or not we can get to 3 or 4%, which is the ultimate objective, I don't know whether that's sustainable. But valuations have stretched out a little bit, and you really need the companies to come through later in the year for the market to propel itself any higher. Otherwise, we've kind of hit the point where we've, we've hit a high point. Sure, something we'll definitely be keeping an eye on. Doug Flynn joining us. He's a certified financial planner and co-founder of Flynn Zito Capital Management. Thanks for joining us.